This is session four of Response to the Coming of Jesus. And today we're looking at the response of the religious establishment. When the wise men came to Herod and asked where this new king was to be born, he was very disturbed, we know that. He was a convert to Judaism and so he knew about the prophecy of a Messiah. But he knew also that they were expecting a military leader who would overthrow Rome. And he was totally dependent on Rome for his power. So this would have been a real worry for him. Naturally then, he turned to the religious leaders and said, do you know where this Messiah is going to be born? And they were able to say, um, in Bethlehem. It was a prophecy from a very minor prophet, Micah, and it was from 700 years previously. But they were able to tell him because they knew their stuff. What I find interesting is that, okay, they knew exactly what the prophecy said about the birth of Messiah, but they just show no interest. There was no sort of, I wonder if this really is the Messiah. Do you think we should go and find out for ourselves? No, nothing. The whole story of the response of the established religious leaders to Jesus is the same. They knew their scriptures in detail, but they failed to recognise that Jesus was the one who fulfilled those scriptures. John 5, 39, Jesus is confronting the leaders over their lack of insight, and this is what he said. You diligently study the scriptures because you think by them you have eternal life. These are the scriptures that testify about me yet you refuse to come to me to have life. And then in John 9, we've got the story of Jesus healing a man who'd been born blind. And he did it on the Sabbath, so he came into conflict with the leaders for breaking the Sabbath law. Now it's a long story, but it ends up with Jesus saying, and this is John 9, 39, for judgment I came into the world so that the blind will see and those who see will become blind. And some of the Pharisees heard that and they said, what, you're saying we're blind? And Jesus said, if you were blind, you would not be guilty of sin. But now that you claim to see, then your guilt remains. The problem for the Jewish leaders were, was that they thought they had it all together. They thought they were right and if anyone disagreed with them, well, they were obviously wrong. Now, it wasn't that Jesus ever disagreed with any of God's laws but he did challenge the rules that the Pharisees made because the Pharisees were trying to control everything in their own power. To claim that we have all things under control can lead us to being blind to the things that God is doing. The Jewish leaders showed a distinct lack of interest in stories of a Messiah being born. Their minds were closed to the, by their own thinking, thinking that they were right. God doesn't have to come to us in a predictable way. God's a God of surprises. We need to have a, have a mind that is open to whatever God might be doing, the new thing that he might be doing. And we can only be open and recognize it if we stay close to Jesus in relationship. Open.
Thank you. 